Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala, Kahalayim, Wahthapa Arat La, Alahaya Nawa Yahawa, Baha Shem Sha Malak Nawa Yahawa Shai, Baha Shem Sha Ha Rachakudash, La Ai Walam Yam, Shalom, Wahab, Wabarakim, La Habayat Sha Dawada, Habaka Yarim Sha Yasharala, Shanya Kabad, Gawala Rakub, Zakwayim Nawa, Waha Shalayakim Nawa, Sha Yasharala Baith. First off, giving all praises and the glory to our power, Yahweh, in the name of our King, Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit forever. Peace and love and blessings to the house of David, the elect of Israel. Also giving double honors to the men of Great Millstone, who rule well, our elders and our apostles in these times. So I just wanted to um, make a quick video dealing with, you know, this situation. Uh, you know, everybody knows now the death of Kobe Bryant, right? And the title of this video is Kobe Bryant's death was just to rock you niggas back to sleep, right? Because we've had so many uh, prophecies c come to pass. You know, there's been uh, these uh, different famines, right? You had um, these earthquakes, right? Puerto Rico got smacked with all kind of earthquakes, right? Uh, uproars amongst the people people over there in France and um they're still rioting right because of the economy you know the world war 3 right the assassination of Soleimani right and uh this pestilence man this coronavirus right so hey the the death of Kobe Bryant was nothing but to rock you niggas back to sleep man you know to 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 keep you away from what's really going on, what's really about to happen, was was really, um, you know, surfacing, you know, especially overseas dealing with uh, the assassination of Soleimani, because you think the death of Kobe Bryant is going to uh, subdue the emotions of uh, the Iranians and all the Arabs over there, you know, the, the emotions of, of those people after the assassination of, of their general man, do you think? <laughs> you think a, a random Jake, a nigga, right, is 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 enough for a, a head and leader of of a, a, an entire people, right? So him him dying was nothing but a, a setup, man. You know, to keep you Jakes where you're at mentally. You know, oh oh, bro, you heard Kobe die, man. That's my nigga, man. You ain't even know him, you know. You did you you didn't speak two words to the man, but he was your nigga, you know. So uh, I'm gonna read uh, read a little bit of his bio, and I want to get into to some of the books that he uh, published, man, because the scriptures say, um, "Who who uh, whoever being innocent or slacky, whoever perished being innocent, you know, or where were the righteous cut off?" So uh, Kobe was not innocent, man. He he. You know, he, he did his wickedness and, and the Heavenly Father knocked him off, man. You know, the issues of death is, is unto our power, man. You know, so uh, it's just this little bio on Amazon.com. It says Kobe Bryant is an Academy Award winner, New York Times bestselling author and CEO of Granite Tea Studios, a multimedia content creation company. He spends every day focused on creating stories that inspire the next generation of athletes to be the best versions of themselves. So, uh, focus on that last piece. It says that he spends every day focused on creating stories to inspire the next generation, man. You know, and, and we all, we all know that the younger generation is easily influenced, right? The scriptures say, uh, teach a teach a child in the way he will he shall go, and he will not depart from it. You know, roughly paraphrasing. So uh, there's a reason why he focused on, you know, uh, the so-called next generation, right? And uh, you know, I just wanted to get into these books because there's a reason for everything, man. The, the heavenly Father. Is not unrighteous, man. You know, but he, hey, every day doth he um, execute his judgment. 
you know. So this is uh the first book is called uh Wiznard the Wiznard series training camp, right? And and as you can see already in the title, what <laughs> one letter off and this is wizard man, so witchcraft man, right? It says uh teen and young adult come to co contemporary fantasy, right? Number one bestseller, right? So if you go down here to the uh, the description, right? It says, I'm going to go down a little bit. It says the game will never be the same. Magic, the first word in, in, in the, the description, right? It says magic doesn't seem possible for the West Bottom Badgers, right? So this is a basketball team. It says they're the lowest ranked basketball team in their league. And they live in the poorest neighborhood in Doran. Nobody expects them to succeed at anything. Plus, every kid on the team has secret struggles of his own. When a new coach named Professor Wisnard arrives on the first day of training camp, the Badgers can't explain the magical seeing, seeming things they see and hear. So uh, every player experienced unique and strange visions, visions that challenge everything they thought they knew about basketball and about their lives and their secrets off the court. To survive the increasingly intense ordeals of training, the Badgers will need to take unimaginable risks, learn to trust their teammates, and, conf and confront the darkness within themselves. So, <laughs> so right off the bat, you know, you you see where, where this, this story is going, man. It's, it's, it's dealing with magic, right? And, and you already know that this magic is on the left-hand side because if it's not through the the heavenly father and his son man is is wickedness man you know so um there's some reviews here it says uh and so that was really the point on this book but but you can see where he's going with 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 this uh this case in this book the book length is it's 592 pages man so uh, so 600 pages of of you know witchcraft man you know magic so the next book that he uh has right is uh called legacy and the queen right and these are all his books because in the description it says it says a uh, product description from the mind of basketball legend and academy award-winning storyteller kobe bryant comes a new tale of finding your inner magic against all odds right so this is book two man right it says game set magic. <laughs> so I guess they're trying to do a ready set go or some type of I don't know, man, but you, you can see where this is going. It says game tennis means life and death for the residents of the magical kingdom of Nova. And for a 12 year old legacy, it's the only thing getting her through the long day is taking care of the other kids at the orphanage. That's all about to change when she hears about uh, Scylla's tor tournament. It says, set Scylla, the ruler of Nova, hosts an, a an annual tor tournament for the less fortunate of her citizens to come and prove themselves and win entrance to the academy where they can train to com compete at nationals. The prize is Scylla's fav favor and enough cash to keep an keep open the orphanage and legacy has her heart set on both right so now we're at magic it says what legacy has yet to know is that the other players have something besides better skills and more money than she does and nova tennis can unlock magic magic that Scylla used to save the kingdom long ago and magic that her competitors have been training in for months already so you can see where this is going man you know each one of these books is dealing with witchcraft, man. This book is uh, 208 pages, right? And it says reading level 10 and up, right? And you already know, oh, Kobe. Kobe Bryant has books, mommy. Mommy, can we get the Kobe books? You know, and they're going to go get them books. You know, can you read the book to me? Right? And and, and this, is what, this is what they're pushing in these stories, man. Right? It says, uh, this book is called Epoca. The Tree of Ekroth, I guess, uh, if I'm not pronouncing it right, oh well, right? But 
this uh, another description of this book, right? It says, uh, I'm not going to read that first part, but I'm going to read this second paragraph. It says, set in an alternate alternate classical war world dominated by sports and a magical power called Grana. Epoca, the tree of Ekroth, is the story of two children, the low, low, lowly born Ravi and the crown princess <laughs> Prita. So yeah, you can see the the woman worshiping in these stories as well, because wasn't the other story uh, some queen who saved her kingdom or something like that? How is it? How is it a kingdom if, if it's ruled by a woman? Anyway, it says uh, who uncovered in battle terrible evil and uh, discovered their inner strength along the way. Epoca, the tree of Ekrog takes place at the most elite sports academy in the land where the best children athletes are set to hone their skills. When Ravi and Prita arrive, each ho uh, harboring a secret about themselves, they begin to sus suspect that something evil is at play at the school. In the course of, of their first year, they must learn to master their grana, which is magic, right? Witchcraft, in order to save the world from dark, dark forces that are rising, right? So you can clearly see where, where this is uh, headed as well. You know, all of these stories have something in common. And that's what magic, magic dealing with witchcraft, man. This book is 368 pages. So you had a book that was 600 pages. You had another book that was two. 290 or something like that and now you have this one that's 360 so you have over a thousand pages dealing with magic man witchcraft so and in and, and the, uh, the description said that he spent every day thinking about new stories to 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 give to these kids man right the next generation right so and there's more you know i'm not going to read all these but you know, this is, this is, uh, this is what he was into, man. You know, 208 pages for this one. But yeah, hey man, that's what he was into, right? So let's get some scriptures real quick. Um, let's get the law, right? Get the law. This is uh Exodus. Let's see, Exodus twenty two and eighteen. It says, "Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live." Right, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. And what is a witch, man? A witch is uh one who deals in witchcraft, man. You know. The word there is, right, which means uh, keep, leave alive, right, life. Quick and recover, restore, revive, save life, or save a life, right? And then the word for which is ka kashap kashapa kashap, right? It says uh properly to whisper a spell, that is to enchant or practice magic, sorcerer, use witch or use witchcraft, right? A whisper, man. And and when you, um, when you speak certain words, every word has a vibration, you know. So, if you if you got books six hundred, you know, or or thousand plus pages of, of stories dealing with magic and whatnot, you probably got different words in there, uh, Latin and and whatnot, you know. So. Uh, he was he was dealing with witchcraft, man. Whispering those those words in, in those little boys' ears, man. You know. And um, let me get that precept. Uh, I think it's Job, <clears throat> Job, the fourth chapter. Job chapter four. Yep, four verse seven says, "Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off." Right, because at the end of the day, if you're if you're doing what's right in the sight of your Yahweh Shem Yahshai, you're not gonna perish, right? The Lord is gonna set his his angels, um, charge over thee, man. Like the scriptures say, and and really only the elect 
of the nation of Israel, who who are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, are going to take heed to, to these messages, man, because a, at the end of the day, the, the world is finished, man. Everybody has been blinded, and, and uh, they, they believe in carnality. They don't believe in spirituality. They don't believe that a, hev- a, a heavenly power is, is dictating uh, what you can can do. And if you do what he says you can do, then you're going to get put to death. You know, or you might you might get stripes, man. You might uh, be catching hell. You're like, man, why am I catching hell? And, and, and you're doing exactly what he told you not to do. So it's a precept precept for here. Um, let's see. Where is it? Oh, wisdom. Never mind. It's lock you. But um, yeah, man, whoever pairs being innocent. You know, the, let me see. Uh, let's see. Get preset real quick. This is it. Um. <clears throat> Kind of, uh, I think, let me see, Slack here. I'm going to read it. Uh, Sirach 35 and 12, it says, Do not think to corrupt with gifts, for such he will not receive. Um, actually, let me read up Slack here. Uh, this is Sirach 35 and 10. It says, Give unto the Most High according as he hath enriched thee, and as thou hast gotten, give with a chill for I. Right. So, hey, Kobe Bryant was a very... Um, wealthy man, you know, and he was so called giving back to the children with these wicked ass books. But hey, the Lord not dealing with that, man. So what you, you're not giving uh, you're not giving back uh, the most high what he has given you. And he only uh, requires a tenth of what you make, man. You know, that's that's your tithes. That's your uh, your sacrifice unto the heavenly father for for what he has done for you. You know, because the scriptures say the Lord. Um, make rich and make poor, you know, it's rock 35 and 11. It says for the Lord recompenseth and give these seven times as much. Right. So when you give, when you uh, have a cheerful eye and, and when you, um, you know, you have charity, especially towards the brethren, you know, that's, uh, the Lord is going to, to give you seven times more, you know, because it was a precept where, uh, the, the lady, she gave like her last coin and that was all she had. But somebody gave, I can't remember the precept. I don't want to butcher it. But if anybody, if any of y'all came out there, have that precept, you know, Baba Kushab put in the, the description or the um the comment section. But she gave away uh, her last shekel, man, you know, and, and that was accounted righteousness unto her. Uh, verse 12, it says, do not think to corrupt with gifts. For such he will not receive. Right. That was a corrupted gift. Right. You you making these wicked, wicked ass books, man. Um, uh, basically, we're dealing with all this witchcraft and magic and uh, all these these boys got to find their inner grana or whatever, whatever the hell, you know, and and that's not righteous, man. Right. It says, do not think to corrupt with gifts for such he will not receive. And trust not in unrighteous sacrifices, for the Lord is judge, and with him is no respecter of persons. So, hey, the Lord, he don't care if you Kobe Bryant, he don't care if you Dwight Howard, he don't care if you Michael Jackson, he don't care about what you have accomplished on this earth, man. The Heavenly Father is above all that, you know, he is not a respecter of persons. And and the scriptures even say that we should not be respecter of persons, right? Um, that's, in the, that's in the law, right? So, um... At the end of the day, man, um, <laughs> you you gave a whack sacrifice, Kobe. You know that's why you're in the spirit world now. And and at the end of the day, uh, if you, if you don't repent, you know, especially uh, you Israelites out there, because you you Israelites are the only one that can repent, uh, according to the scriptures. You're going to be right there with the same ticket Kobe got, man. And it's going to be punched, and 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 you're gonna you're gonna take the same train that that uh, he took. So, uh, we actually, <clears throat> let me see, Acts, the third chapter, 
And this is it. Acts 3 and 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. And when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So a hey, scripture say, repent ye therefore and be converted. Right. How do you be converted? You come back to these scriptures. You call on the true names of, of what the world ignorantly calls God. Right. Whose name is Yahweh and, and who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai. Right. Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Which means he is the deliverer, right? And Hamashiach means the uh, the anointed, right? Or the chosen, right? Verse 20, it says, And he shall send Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, which before was preached unto you, right? When was, hey, we're still preaching Yahweh Shai, man. They even had a sign, right, on the news saying Yahweh Shai is coming. If that's not a sign for you, right? Hey, we, we have been preaching Yahweh Shai, starting with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Right, Elder Apostle Tar, Elder Apostle Gabar, and Ramlab, and Elder Apostle uh, uh, Raka, right, have been preaching this gospel and preaching Yahweh Shai for uh, 30 plus years, man. You know? So, hey, it says, when, and he shall send Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, which before was preached unto you. Not no damn Jesus Christ, not no um, uh, 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 Caesar Borgia, man. You know? How long have our people been calling on that name and, and praising that name? There has been no salvation. There has been no prophecies coming to pass. But as soon as the elders and apostles started to preach the true gospel, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little, right? All of these prophecies have been popping off, especially 2020, the year of prophecy, man. You know? So it says, repent ye therefore and be converted. So uh, you got to come back to the Heavenly Father, man. You you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and, and Native Americans because the Heavenly Father is only dealing with you. And, and I'm going to get that real quick. And then uh, I'm going to just end it off on that. Uh, this is the book of Amos, the third chapter, right? It says, uh, Amos 3 and 1, Hear this word that the Lord Yahweh hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up, from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Right. So, hey, the Heavenly Father said, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Everything that, that Kobe has done, he got punished for it, man. And we already read who whoever perished being innocent, you know. So, hey, Yahweh Bashimi al is not playing with you guys out here, man. Especially celebrities. You got Aerie Spears out here talking about if God's black, then he a nigga uh, and he tardy or whatever. You got Boozy out here flipping the bird at the most high, you know. All these different celebrities is, is bugging out because of this truth, man. But, hey, you you sincere you sincere uh, Israelites out there, you got to humble down, man, and come back to the Heavenly Father. Because at the end of the day, it's pride that's blinding a lot of these people, man. They They feel like they know what they know. And they feel like the truth is what they believe the truth is. And, and the truth is in the scriptures, man. Uh, Yahweh Shai said, I am the way, the life, and the truth. No man can come to the Father but by me. Right? And his name is Yahweh Shai. And he's coming, man. So with that, I'm going to end it there. Lord willing, it was edifying, faith boosting. Shalom.